Hello, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dave Heidemann, and today we're going to talk about snorkeling and underwater photography. I love taking pictures while snorkeling. There are so many advantages. One of them, you don't have to dive. You don't have to deal with all the dive equipment. But let's talk about some of the advantages. First, you're relatively shallow in general. There's plenty of available light. It's great for wide angle. You can look through something called Snell's window. You can do split levels, even close focus wide angle. We'll talk about that in some subsequent tutorials. You don't really need a strobe. I usually snorkel with a point and shoot with available light, sometimes with a wide angle lens attachment. Or if I'm using my big old SLR, I just have this. I don't have to worry about the big old heavy bulky strobes, okay? And by the way, without using a strobe, you don't have to worry about backscatter and strobes losing their charge and all those strobe related problems. You do have to get close to the subject because remember you want to keep a, a, a small water column because as you recall the water column robs us of color, contrast and clarity. All right, you can usually use a pretty fast shutter speed to stop the action and you don't get motion blur from you or the subject. And it usually gives a clear image, especially if you shoot wide angle, you have a lot of depth of field, so you can still have a pretty clear image. Also, what are some other advantages to snorkeling? Easy navigation. It's pretty hard to get lost or to even lose your snorkeling buddy. All right, another thing, minimal equipment. I can go snorkeling with my fins and fin boots, okay? My mask and my snorkel. I have to wear a prescription mask. A little bit of sunblock. You gotta be careful that you don't get a burn. I usually use a t-shirt to help prevent a burn or sometimes I'll even use a dive skin. You don't have to worry about decompression sickness. You're not breathing pressurized air. You're not really blowing out bubbles, scaring all the subject. As you know, there are certain subjects like whales and that where it's preferred not to be diving because the bubbles can scare the uh, animal. Snorkeling can also be peaceful. There's something natural about it. You're sort of communing with nature. And again, the thing I like it the most is you can get great underwater pictures without diving. It's accessible. In fact, you can snorkel with others who don't dive. All you really need is a calm area of water that you can enter and exit and hopefully get some great pictures. I've snorkeled between dives, after dives, or on our 24 hour pre-flight, when you're done diving, I've spent a lot of time snorkeling, gotten some of my best pictures snorkeling. There are a few disadvantages. One, we have to be aware of topside issues, boat traffic, fishermen, tides, riptides, current. We have to make sure we can enter and exit all right. We have to remember that waves and surge, especially in shallow areas, are going to ruin the visibility. And in general, we want to stay shallow. If the reef is like down 30, 40 feet, you're not going to really see too much. You got to protect yourself from sunburn and keep in mind snorkeling it keeps you in good shape but you expend more energy and effort you're usually kicking if you're free diving you can have problems with your ears always going up and down up and down and you're always moving you're constantly moving and kicking so it makes it hard to shoot macro or do anything because the camera is moving that's why i usually shoot wide angle finally you can't really take your time to cautiously approach a subject and really work the subject and compose your picture uh, because you're you're moving around all the time so that's a little disadvantage to snorkeling but in the next few tutorials we're going to show some of the really cool underwater images you can get just from snorkeling thanks for tuning in